So Iran is stronger than Allah, is it? Is Iran stronger than Allah? Is Iran stronger than Allah? We give asylum to Muslims and what happens? They turn Speaker's Corner from a place of debate to a place where you shut down debate. Why not blame Hamas for using child soldiers? No, they won't blame Hamas for using child soldiers. But when one of them dies, they say, Oh, Israel's killed a child. Okay, fine, yeah, yeah. One fact, please, one fact. I did. What's the fact? I gave you several facts, several times, and you start talking and shouting while I answer. How many innocent kids have the IDF killed compared to Hamas, compared to Hezbollah, the compared to all the So, whose side does Allah appear to be on then? Yeah. Do you know, in the Quran, in the Quran it says, if you fight a just war, I will fight with you and you will win. You so, in 1948, when the Arabs attacked Israel, <laughs> whose side was God on then? In 1967, when the Arabs attacked Israel, whose side was God on then? In 1973, when Allah... Don't forget, Allah says, if you fight with justice, I will fight with you and you will win. I have. I have. The facts are. The facts are. Hang on. The facts are. You're saying. You don't want the And now let's say. Back. That's the fact. That's the fact. An answer. Israel, as I said, never start a conflict. But they said suicide bombers. They stab people from behind. They go for they go for soft targets, civilians against the Quran. Against the Quran. They start a war. They start a war, and they lose. They start. They start. You start the wars, and you lose. I be speaking, giving you facts. You start wars. You stupidly attack a very powerful governed country, and you're too stupid to realise that every time you attack Israel, you come off worse. I'll say it again. Every time you. Stupidly attack Israel, you always come off worse. But you keep attacking Israel. You don't negotiate. You keep attacking Israel. And every time you attack Israel, you come off worse. Return to your Quran. No. Okay, don't return to your Quran. You'll get more of the same. More of the same. You've got a useless fighting force. And you put your own children in peril. Do you know Hamas fires missiles right next to schools? They know that the computer system will send a missile back from Israel to where that missile comes from. 
But does he blame Hamas for throwing missiles right next to schools? No, he doesn't. No. Israel throws the missile back where it comes from as you're allowed to in international war. Why not blame Hamas for using child soldiers? No, they won't blame Hamas for using child soldiers. But when one of them dies, they say, oh, Israel's killed a child. Yeah, they said child soldiers. Yeah, that's right. You're a bunch of failures. You're a bunch of failures. For years, you've been attacking Israel and coming off worse. Do you make peace? No, you keep on attacking Israel. How stupid is that? You know, there's an old saying. If you do the same thing again and again and fail, but you keep doing it again and again, hoping for different results, that's, that's uh, the definition of stupidity. But God bless those Muslims who don't stick their fingers up to the Quran and God blesses them. That's good. God blesses those Palestinians who deserve blessings. And long live free speech in England. It's always the Muslims that will just shout you down. I never get Christians doing it. I don't get the Japanese doing it. I don't get the Chinese do it. Only the Muslims come here and just shout, 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 shout. He could debate, but he chooses not to debate. Why is there Islamophobia all around the world? They see what the Muslims are like. They see what the Muslims are like. If you want no more free speech in England, too many people like that. Do you know, there used to be lots of Christian speakers here. And people like him and others have made it impossible for them. We give asylum to Muslims and what happens? They turn speaker's corner from a place of debate to a place where you shut down debate. Sad. I keep having to remind myself there are millions of good, decent Muslims. But sadly, there are so many like him and him. Thank you so much. Sad. Sad. Anyway, back to the Quran. Quran says. If I want to bless a country, nothing can stop the blessings. So if you're from a backward country, ask yourselves, why is Allah not blessing your country? Yeah. Don't blame everyone else. Ask Allah why Allah is not blessing you. In the Quran it says, all blessings are good things come from Allah. Why is Israel blessed beyond belief? And the countries around are the most godforsaken places there are. I'm not finished. You want to believe I'm finished. You think if you say it, I'll be finished. Anyway, Israel still there. Why? Not just because of its good army, because God has prophesied in return and no one's going to be able to destroy it. I've been standing here giving lots of facts and he says, give me one fact. I've been standing here giving lots of facts, including facts from the Quran. I'll tell you what else it says in the Quran. Muhammad says, and my people, the Muslims, 
will desert this Quran. Yeah, when I see many Muslims here, it's begun already. So many Muslims are deserting their Quran. It says in the Quran, if your enemy leads towards peace, you also lead towards peace and rely on Allah. But they won't make peace with Israel. No, Quran says so, but they're deserting it. So Iran is stronger than Allah, is it? Is Iran stronger than Allah? Is Iran stronger than Allah? Children, no. You here, should I should I believe the Quran or this man? I ask you. Should I believe the Quran or this man? Because they contradict each other. Should I believe the Quran or this man? Sonny, they put their own children in peril by firing missiles from next to schools. And then he blames Israel for firing back where the missiles come from. They want to fire missiles at Israeli civilians and Israel not far back. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No. No. Because they're not. It's not. I'll ask you again. The Quran says, if you fight with justice, I will fight with you and you will win. So how come Israel wins every war when you attack Israel? When you attack Israel, why do you lose every time? Why do you lose every war against Israel? Okay, why do the Arab Muslims who keep attacking Israel, lose all their wars. Why do they lose all their wars? He won't answer. He won't answer. Quran says, if you fight with justice, I will fight with you and you will win. He's deserting the Quran. Exactly as Muhammad prophesied in the Quran. Muhammad says, and I will say in the future, you Muslims will desert this Quran. There's a good example. I'll ask again for him to answer. When the Arab Muslims attack Israel, and they've done many times, why does Israel always win? You know Allah, God. His prophecies always come true. So, I'll say again, you've got two options, Palestinians. One is, make peace with Israel and live happily ever after. The other one is, keep attacking Israel and keep losing. Those are the only two options. You can't beat Allah, God's prophecies. But you can make peace with Israel. Israel will never want peace with the Palestinian people. Ever since Israel was created, Israel said, come and make peace with us. Back in 1948, when Israel was first created, they made peace with Egypt and Jordan. And they want to with the others. But the others won't make peace with Israel. God blesses Israel. God wants to bless the Palestinians. But they're going to deserve the blessings. I didn't write the Quran. I didn't write the Quran. If you don't like the Quran, blame Allah. Blame Allah. Talk about all of it. Politics and God. Talk about all of it. If you withdraw one bit, it falls apart. Uh, all the time, Palestinians fire missiles at Israel, always targeting civilian cities. Always Hamas missiles are aimed at, at uh, civilian cities. Even though that's 
That's against the Quran. You've got a great book in the Quran, but it only works if you follow it. Do you know, in the Quran, I'll tell you what the Quran says about the Jews and their Torah. Quran says the Torah is a good book, but a Jew who has a Torah but does not read it is like a, a donkey with a Torah on his back. In other words, you only get benefit from the Torah if you read the Torah. And it's exactly right, it's true. The same thing is with the Quran. It's, it's no good on your bookshelf if you don't read it. But if you read it and you live by it, Allah will bless you as he wants to, as he wants to. It's up to you if you read your Quran. No one, it says in the Quran, there's no compulsion in religion. If you don't read your Quran, you don't have to. But you won't get so many blessings. As a citizen, as a Israel was created in two ways. One is the fulfillment of God's prophecies. The other one is the United Nations created Israel in 1948. I'll say that again. The United Nations recreated Israel in 1948. So, with the United Nations and God on the same song sheet, it's going to happen, isn't it? And it has happened. And Israel has prospered ever since. I can't say the same for the countries around them, but Israel has prospered. They've made themselves deserving of Allah, God's blessings. It's great. Do you know? Every government has banks and they charge interest. They do. They do. Anyway. Thank you. Okay. My, my concluding word to you Palestinians, all your supporters is, urge the Palestinians to go to the Israelis and demand, demand peace and the end of occupation. But it won't happen unless you go there, bug on the table and demand peace. But if you just send missiles instead, you won't get peace. You'll just get retaliation from Israel.